Okay, YouTube, we are back, and I want to give a big shout out to Kemper Do A Do A Do. That's Kemper Do for coming up with the awesome name for our female false water cobra, 50% head lavender. Her hatch date was 2 14 of 2022. She named her Satet or Satet. Egyptian goddess of Nile, Nile River floods. Full credit, Kemperdu. You came up with the most badassest name of all. And everybody knows we love our Kemperdu. So, big shout out to you, girl. Here is Satit. Um, she poops in her water bowl, which is absolutely amazing because a lot of people complain about that, but I find it very convenient to clean up after her so um, you don't have to soil the entire container like most snakes don't care okay say tit do you want some pinks she may be hungry may be hungry. She's so gentle. Such a gentle, beautiful girl. It's like, hmm, do I want it or do I want it? Yeah, I guess I'll take it if I have to. If I have to, I'll take it. So we can get some zoom in action on that. There goes one down the hatch. Are you so hungry little say Ted? Let's see if we can do two. Can we do two? Ooh, you're gonna stand up like a real cobra. That is awesome. Hell to the yeah. Hydrodynasties Gigas everyone. Hydrodynasties Gigas stands for the water prince. So she is definitely a water princess. Little Satet. There you go, sweetheart. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it dropped. It dropped. It dropped. Wow. <laughs> She's like, you're not going to take it back from me. That is so cute. Look at her cute little mouth got to love it. If you don't love it, there's something wrong with you. Yep, I absolutely have fallen in love with false water cobras and I'm going to make these my superstar people. Um, they're amazing. I forget how many of us. Hey, 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 quit eating, the, quit eating the floor. Up here. Up here. Up here. There you go. Whoops, sorry. You're going to try and eat this four or five. Six. This girl can down them. Seven. I am going to be giving her a variety of foods everyone should know. Um, I'm not going to just, I mean rats have a high fat content. You don't want them to get some kind of fatty liver disease or something later on. So she'll be eating a variety of chicken, fish, and uh, mice, rat, stuff like that. She definitely does not mind eating that though. And that chicken will make them grow really quick. Well, you all remember Dash, the corn snake. That was a two foot corn snake that wouldn't, wouldn't grow. It was a uh, part of the Tequila Sunrise Project. And the lavender, lavender something, I can't remember. She was awesome. And she was two foot and we started giving her chicken and she grew and grew and grew. 
say Ted. Yeah. There you go, darling. Whoa. I've been doing more research about these guys. I uh, found out something interesting about them. You just seen that way they whip that tail? They'll sit in the reeds in the water and go up and whip their tail on the reeds to see what comes out so they can eat it. They don't really care what comes out. <laughs> yeah, this girl was an eater. I'm imagining she's going to shed after this meal. Hope you all stay with me for the whole, her whole life. You get to see her grow, shed, become a beautiful water princess, and then she will turn into an adult. She will get find her first love, and then she'll be having purple babies. She's going to be amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Having technical difficulty here. Say Ted. Oh, say Ted. I like that name, by the way. Look what I got for you, darling. It was for you. Your water princess. Have your food brought right to you. She got such a calm demeanor about her. I forget how many that is. It's a bunch. She's definitely going to be spoiled rotten. Say Ted Tindall. Are you really full? Do we have a false water cobra that's full? That's something you don't see very often. Are you full or are you just swallowing? Somebody tell me in the comments. Yep, I think that's going to be it for that girl. That is going to be it for that beautiful girl. Okay, so I'll put her little heart water bowl back. I have a wash rag in here. Put for her because sometimes I find her hiding underneath. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. She'll hide underneath there. And she'll go into her water bowl. Yep. Thank you so much, Kim Purdue, with for the most awesome name in the world. Um, well, we have to get a name for her first boyfriend too at some point. He will be a male. A male false water cobra, 50% head lavender. Hatch date should be similar but from different parents. Different sire and dam. She has such a sweetheart. And now she's full, and she's just going to sit there and relax. Keeping her temperature right at 79 degrees. I'm going to fluctuate from 79 to 82, which is awesome because the eggs can incubate from 80 to 82, which is perfect. So 79 to 82 would be also perfect. Pretty close to perfect anyway. You don't want to incubate these too high of temperatures from all the 
research I've been doing because it will get kink tails and everything like that and that's something that we just simply do not want anyway hope y'all enjoyed Satet and her massive appetite I will feed her something ne different next time for you guys um, hopefully stay tuned peace love and happiness and all that good shit like subscribe and tell your friends Edward Tyndall and Satet Tyndall out.